this no sight no judgment this is darian again so i have exciting news and as you guys can see i was not paying attention i'm in this what is this rum raisin ice cream um and it's delicious but i have good news to tell you guys i did a home interview oh my god am i dropping ice cream maybe i am um oh well but at least it tastes good um, so I did a home interview on Tuesday for Southeastern Guide Dogs, and it was fun. I did an independent route, I did a Juno walk, and honestly, it wasn't as bad as people thought. I was really nervous at first, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna fail. And I don't like to take tests, so I really thought the world was gonna end. And I ended up doing super well. I made a mistake, but she was happy to see that I was able to correct that mistake. And that's what guide dog schools like to see. So don't get scared that you are going to make a mistake because they're not looking for perfection. They want to see that if you do make a mistake that you can fix it and keep yourself on track as to where you're going. And then after I showed her the, to the route, I impressed the school by telling her, by telling her wow where's my brain today i guess i'm so distracted by this ice cream um the two restaurants on the end of the plaza what was to the right of the truncated domes and what was across the street if i were to cross that street and then from there we switched over and she became juno and we went home and she's like what if juno takes you into this corner i'm like uh i go left she's like okay and then we went all the way back to my apartment building parking garage and I did a pace walk and then we went through the parking lot and she pulled me away. She's like, what if your dog sees a squirrel or another dog off of, when it's off of harness? What do you do now? Where's, where's your house? I was like, it's behind me. She said, oh, well, you were wrong with the direction, but at least you know it's behind you. So. That's a little mistake, but she's like, the main part is you know that your house is behind you. And she's like, okay, now we're back inside. Where's the elevator? And I was like, it's to my left. And then we go left and the dog, so to speak, takes me to an exit door that's near those elevators. And that's a door I never go out of, even though you can go out of it. And what we did there well, she's like, what if your dog takes you over here? What do you do now? Uh, she's like, you can drop your dog's harness and you can search your area and see where you are and then figure it out. But she's like, don't worry about that. Your dog is trying to find elevators, which is nice. But she wanted to see if I could actually find my way home without getting say, oh man, my dog took me to the wrong place. This, this GPS doesn't work. It's not a GPS and it's not a robot like you probably hear all the time. So stay cool, calm, and collected when doing your guide dog home interview. Please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I will see you shortly. Bye, guys.